What up peeps, welcome to today's vlog. I'm here in the back room because we got some customers out there that Abby's helping. But uh, we have one trade in so far from Josh and he went to a garage sale. I don't know if it was today or yesterday or whatever, but he found uh, some video game stuff. So he brought it in here. So we have, it's kind of all tangled, but there's a third party Nintendo 64 power cable and a PlayStation 2 Slim power cable. And then a Super Nintendo controller. And then four games. We have Jack and Daxter, Precursor Legacy, Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, Dragon Quest VII for 3DS, and then Super Paper Mario for the Switch. So he said he took a little bit of a, a gamble on these because the they were like they were all in a bag and it was like a blind bag type deal, but he said he only paid 20 bucks for everything, so uh, we were able to double his money on those, and we got some cool stuff for the store. So, it is Mother's Day. Uh, I know it's late for you guys if you're watching right now, but happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. Um, I'm going to be calling my mom here in just a moment. If you guys have not, I suggest you do as well. And uh, so we're just going to jump into today. It's 11.53 so far. Uh, this is the only trade-in that's come in um, We've only had like two or three customers in so far. I'm, I'm expecting it to be pretty slow today. So Abby and I are going to do our best to get through all of the new trade stuff and all the inventory that's just been piling up. And hopefully we can get all of it done today. We just got a super awesome trade in here that is stuff that we don't normally get. It's mostly vinyl and it's really good stuff as well. So um, we're actually going to be keeping um, a little stack of it. I'll show you guys that and let you know like this stack we're keeping, this stuff we're not. There's also a couple video games, so we'll start with those. We have Final Fantasy 3 for Super Nintendo, and also Resident Evil 2 for PS1. That's all the video game stuff. Uh, so there are some CDs and then the vinyl, so let's take a look at those now. So these are the CDs. There's really good stuff in here. Megadeth, Testament, Scorpions, Morbid Angel, Lucifer, Abscess, Morbid Angel, a couple Toxic Holocaust, uh, Toxics, those are Toxic. These two toxic ones are like 30 bucks each, which is pretty cool. Another Morbid Angel, High on Fire, Marduk, Skid Row, uh, Hidden Hand. I don't, I'm not familiar with them. A couple of those. A couple of Boris, Motorhead, Neurosis, Pink Floyd, Neurosis, Megadeth, uh, Joe Satriani. This is like some classical one. Um, ACDC, there's a couple of those. And then Ascend and... Uh, King Crimson Collector's Club thing. And then there was a couple magazines which he gave us for free. I'm just going to give these to, to my buddy David. I think he would enjoy those. Uh, he also gave us these for free. Um, the record is in here, but it is extremely scratched, like deep, deep scratches. It'll never play properly. So it's basically just a cover. Uh, a couple like pads for a uh, record player, a couple sleeves. And then this other Judas Priest one, it has like a huge warp. So um, I've heard people talk about like heating them up in the oven. So that might be an option for that one, but I think it's also pretty scratched. So I don't know. So there's those. So those were the like the freebies. And then the magazines were free as well, which like I said, I'm gonna give to David. And then these are the records here. At least these are some of them that we're not keeping. So we have some Beatles ones. There's a few. And then Pink Floyd, Joe Satriani, OM, which there's a bunch of them from this band. I've never heard of them before. Sleep, they are Doom Band. Scorpions, uh, Ultimate Revenge 2. This is like a compilation. It's got Death and Dark Angel and stuff on it. Queensryche. Uh, Earth, Angels in Darkness, Demons of Light. I think the band is Earth, but this is a band I've never heard of. There's a couple from them. Um, the Michael Schenker group, whatever that is, there's a couple of those. Those were super cheap. Another OM, another one, another one. Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd, Probot, which I've never heard of. Another Earth one, Trouble, Trouble, Extreme, Triumph, or Warlock, whatever it is. And then I think that was 
Pink Floyd as well, yeah. So, those ones we are not keeping. Um, I'm also not interested in keeping these. I think there might be a couple in here Abby's going to want, though. Uh, so we have some singles. There's Soundgarden. This is some, like, local band from, like, New York or something. Uh, Pink Floyd. Mothers of Invention. Never heard of them. Uh, what was this one? Frank Zappa. There's a couple. This Alice in Chains is still sealed. Uh, a couple Ozzy ones. This Soundgarden one, which I would keep, but it's only got like five songs, so I think it's, and it's like obviously not regular size. This is one um, Horseback. They're like weird, like stoner, doom, whatever. Um, I pulled it up on the phone. I didn't really like it. Abby said she likes it, so she might want to keep that one. Uh, this St. Vitus Live. This one only has a couple tracks, and it's put out by Scion, like the car company. <laughs> Um, I know they deal with a lot of like music stuff. So this one I could not find anywhere online. I couldn't find it on eBay, Amazon, or Discogs. So I don't really know if that means it's rare or no one cares about it. So I don't know. And then we have Pentagram, uh, Nihilism, I believe. Um, these are like the types of bands that I would be into, but I'm not, I can't call myself fans of those ones in particular. So I'm not interested in keeping them. Sun or Sun O, whatever you want to say. Um, they're a Doom Band, Armored Saint, Another Sun. So those are the ones that I'm not super interested in keeping. These are the ones that we are planning on keeping. This one is Motorhead, Dio, Megadeth. This one's still sealed. And then we have some like uh, picture discs here. We have Dio, Rainbow, Another Dio, and a Judas Priest painkiller that's like cut into the shape of a saw blade. That's pretty cool. Celtic Frost, Alice in Chains, Motorhead, Wasp, Black Sabbath. There's a bunch of Sabbath ones in here. So definitely got to keep those. A lot, it's like a lot of them. Venom, another Black Sabbath, uh, Pearl Jam, and another Pearl Jam. So pretty cool stuff. Um, Abby has been getting into collecting vinyl. Um, me, not so much, but I think this will be the start of it. I've kind of toyed with the idea before. We have a couple, like, we have a bunch at the store here for sale, so I might go through and pick out a couple more that I'm thinking about keeping. There were some Aussie ones and some Van Halen and stuff. Um, we don't really have room for it at home, especially in the game room, but in the future, when we move, hopefully get a bigger game room, it'd be nice to have a spot for, like, the turntable and have, like, mounted speakers throughout the game room and just listen to music while we're in there organizing or just doing whatever. I thought that'd be really cool. So that is an awesome trade-in. This kind of stuff does not walk in the door ever. Usually if people, when people do bring in vinyl, which is never anyway, it's usually the kind of stuff that we have in here. It's like Journey and Steely Dan and the Beatles and, you know, just stuff like that. So to see this kind of stuff, especially, is really, really cool. Um, I don't dislike Sun, but I can't call myself a fan. I haven't listened to him too much, and I'm not big into Doom. So these are expensive enough that I <laughs> am interested in getting rid of them. Um, I'm not super interested in shipping any of these. We don't have any record boxes. So um, I called, or I texted my buddy David and told him he should come in and take a look because there's probably some stuff he's going to want. And... Uh, I'm pretty sure every single CD in there is going to go to my buddy Jason because um, he collects CDs as well. So I always sell to him whenever I get them. So that is an awesome trade-in. We got a little Game Boy bundle traded in here from one of our regulars. His name is Gabe. So we have the Atomic Purple Game Boy Color with the battery cover. Speaker works. Everything seems to be functioning properly. And then we have Super Off-Road, Tetris DX, Wario Land 3, Donkey Kong, Monopoly, Centipede, Dr. Mario, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Super Breakout and Battle Zone, Mrs. Pac-Man, Tetris 2, Animorphs, Pac-Man, Tetris Attack, Tetris Blast, Frogger 2, Tetris Plus, Cubert, and Magical Tetris Challenge. So lots of Tetris games in there, lots of puzzle games overall, but pretty cool stuff. So we just got another kind of trade in here. This is from Sean. Uh, I talked about him. In the past couple vlogs, um, he's been like bringing a lot of stuff in. He brought the power pad box in. 
Um, so he brought in a PS3 controller, tested and working. And then he also brought in an extension cable for a Nintendo Switch, which I'm giving to Abby. Um, and then he brought us the Super Mario Gingerbread Castle. This is still brand new, just a cool piece for the collection. Um, Abby and I wanted to get one of these around Christmas time when they were out, but we couldn't find them. They were sold out everywhere locally, so um, he wanted to put it together, but never did because he thought it was just kind of cool and just wanted to keep it as is, so he ended up bringing that in, so we took that in as well, so that's going into the collection. And then, this is really, really cool. So, um, he has a 3D printer, and we've kind of been waiting for someone to come in with a 3D printer that would be willing to try to do some stuff and one thing that we have had Richard do recently is uh, Dremel out the little clips inside the, the Japanese Nintendo 64 systems to be able to play North American games and that's fine and it works great however it leaves holes in the little tray which it's fine you know you know dirt or whatever could slip down through there but it's really not a huge deal it just doesn't look as good so you can 3d print the actual little plastic insert that goes in there. You could also just take one out of a North American system and put it in the Japanese one, but you, you know, you might as well have a broken one to take it out of. So 3D printing them is a little bit better. So uh, we found, or he found, the file with the correct, um, with the correct item to 3D print. And so he made three of them here. And these were done very, very quickly. He said they took about half an hour each, which you know, for what these are, it's, it's pretty quick. So, um, if you do them, if you print them slower, then they'll look more smooth and look cleaner. So he did a white one and then two gray ones. So I'm going to give these to Richard and he can mess with them and put them in and, uh, like put them in the system and see how well they work. And then if like all the dimensions are right and everything is looking good, then, um, Sean can can print another one and do it on like the really really slow setting which will make them smoother um, So you can see down in this one You can see down in there. It's not very smooth. So It's like it's not it doesn't want to focus on it, but well, let me show you so down in there You can see that's not smooth at all <laughs> and they're they're pretty rough um, but you know, they should work fine. So, let's see, like, like the back of this one right here, that is fairly smooth, um, especially right up here, you can kind of see. So, we're going to try these out, see how they work, and then, uh, you know, talk to Sean and let him know, like, what's going on, and if everything is good, if the dimensions are all correct and everything, then he will print one out better and we'll try that one out and we'll just keep refining it and see like how good we can get it. Um, he did these ones for free to help us out, which is super awesome. So I definitely appreciate that. So thank you, Sean. Um, but of course, you know, once we get everything dialed in and we're actually like having him print them for us to use and, and all that, we'll of course be paying him. Um, don't know exactly what it's going to cost. He said probably just a couple bucks each or something, which is perfectly fine. Uh, definitely doable. So uh, the main reason we wanted these is for the Japanese systems to be able to play North American games because we have, you know, we bought the, the red one and the blue one already, sold the red one, the blue one is kind of pre-sold because the guy that bought the red one also wants the blue one. So I thought it would be cool to get some more. So I'm going to look into that in the future. Uh, no plans to buy them right now. I just kind of got lucky on the other two and found good deals, but it is something we want to do. They're cool to have in store, so these are going to be super, super helpful. No packages today, guys. It's Sunday. <laughs> but added a lot more things to the little pile here for the next pickup video, as you can probably tell. It's been growing. Um, so tomorrow is the last day that I have to basically add anything to the collection for the next pickup video. So this is everything that I have to do now. So... If, you know, the only other things that I would be adding to the collection before the pickup video is filmed is if something is traded in tomorrow that I decide to hold on to, and it's a Monday, the chances of it happening are probably pretty slim, so this is most likely going to be everything for the pickup video. This is a decent amount of stuff, though, so 
For those of you who enjoy the long videos, you will enjoy this pickup video. It'll probably be somewhere on the 40 minute mark, probably 35 to 40 minutes. So it'll be a pretty fun one. Um, I am going to go play some trials for the Switch and we're gonna watch some TV and head to bed. I played a little bit of trials last night. Um, did probably six or seven more contracts, which if you haven't played the game, you're not gonna know what that is, but did a bunch of those. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna play some more trials. I'm really enjoying the game still, and we're gonna head to bed.